We're going to do the Seat of Compassion sequence, uh, one of my most favourite sequences. Fabulous for um, releasing emotion, opening the chest, opening the heart, but also really quite strong on the lower body. Um, it does include crane, so if you know when you come into crane, which is this one, if you know that you need a prop like a chair to hold on to or a block, make sure you've got that handy. Um, and I think that might be all you need, maybe a blanket for knees. Okay, so we'll just do a, a few exercises uh, to begin with, just to release the upper body a little bit. And a bit of a hamstring stretch. So standing in mountain pose, feet nice and grounded, knees soft, hips level. Inhale, lift up. Oh, nice, just feel a full stretch through the body. And then as you exhale, draw the arms down and back, opening the chest. Try not to let yourself go into a back bend, but try and just draw the chest open, drawing through, uh, drawing the elbows backwards. And then as you do that, if it feels right for you, um, as you lift the arms, look up. Just extending through the thoracic here. Exhale, look, look forward, draw the elbows back. Inhale, quite strong, you'll feel it through the pec muscles, the chest muscles, into the shoulder. Exhale, really draw that back. Do it one more time. Inhale, looking up. Exhale, head forward, draw the elbows back. Lower the arms, give yourself a little shake. Let's take the fingers behind, interlacing. Fingers, you, you might find that you can keep the palms closed. If that's too much, just keep them square. Okay, so while we're doing that, we're going to take a wide stance. We're going to do a little bit of a hamstring stretch and a bit of an opening through the hip. You can do this with your feet closer together, if it's not for you. And then moving forwards with a flat back, try and think about squeezing the shoulder blades together. So you're drawing the shoulders back as you come forward. And just come far forward, as far forward as you can, without the shoulders starting to drop down towards the ground. So keep that pencil squeezing. So you should feel muscles between the shoulder blades, you should feel a stretch through the chest, and you should feel a stretch all the way down the back of the legs, maybe into the adductor muscles as well, the inner thighs. Hold the flat back if you can, higher if it's not for you, and then just allow the body to roll down so your shoulders may need to be released. Keeping the fingers interlaced, bring the, the hands towards the head, up behind you. Now here you probably won't be feeling that you're squeezing that pencil anymore, but just try and create a little bit of that feeling and you'll just feel the difference in the shoulders as you do that. The knees can be slightly bent. And then release the fingers. Let yourself hang. Walk the feet to hip width and roll up through the spine. <sighs> okay. This time, taking the feet wider again if you can. Folding forward from the hips. Draw the shoulders back. Hold that position, cause engaging muscles in the back are having to work. Create your grasshopper legs with your arms. So from the side, just lifting the elbows up towards the ceiling. You feel those muscles in the upper back having to engage again. And then allow the back to roll down. And then we're just going to take a walk over to the right foot. Feel a stretch down the side of the body and walk the hands over to the other side. doesn't matter if you're touching the ground or not, you can just be taking the hands to one side of the leg and the other side of the leg. Just make sure there's no pressure on the knee. Back to centre, walk the feet in, bend the knees and roll up through the spine. Give yourself a shoulder roll. Rearrange your clothing and your hair, very important. And let's begin. 
seat of compassion. Woo -woo. Love it. Just makes me feel amazing. So we begin with our feet hip width apart. Mountain pose, we all know that. And we're going to begin with our lotus chair, so bringing the palms together. And remember, as we lift, we open the fingers, but the little finger and the thumb stay together. That's our lotus flower. So chair of the heart with our lotus flower. Inhale, lift the arms, elbows forward, bending through the knees, dropping the tailbone rather than sticking our bottom back. Exhale, lower, close the hands. Inhale. This time, drawing the hands to the chest, taking the hands, the feet, we've got two to three feet apart, releasing the palms, and then either holding on to wrists, elbows, or if you can create that namaste position behind the back, you can do that. Then we're going to adjust ourselves, ready for the charity pose. So turning the left foot out to the side. Dropping the right heel back, you may want to adjust the stance. So just make sure that you can stand comfortably with both heels down. And as you come forward, you can create a gentle bend through that front knee without overshooting the heel. Inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, come part way forward, bending the front knee. Allow the head to drop. And as you inhale, roll back up. Lift. Exhale, come slightly further forward. Allow the head to drop. Press into the front foot and roll up through the spine. And next exhale, coming forward as far as you can with a flat back. And then release the hands. Take the hands down to the ground. And we're going to move into charity pose. So it might be that you're holding onto a chair or putting your hands on the block. Lift the back leg behind, feeling the buttock muscles and the muscles in the leg of that, of that standing leg, the buttock of the lifted leg working really hard and just allowing the upper body to completely surrender. Let go of any tension. Trust that you are strong and stable. Lower the back foot down carefully. Drop the knee. So here it's a nice gentle runner position. So probably at right angles. Inhale, take the arms out in front. Just breathe for a moment. And on the next inhale, the left hand, sorry, the right hand comes up overhead and opens out. Make sure that this leg stays back. And then we begin with our Inhale, draw the elbows in. Feel that chest open. Exhale, release. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Turn to look at the right hand and watch that hand as it draws a beautiful rainbow overhead. And then taking the hands down to the ground. We're going to lift the back knee, step slightly forward, back into our um, foot position ready for the charity pose. Take the hands where you would like behind the back, pressing into the front foot and rolling up through the spine. Straightening the leg as you do that. Beautiful. Face forward and we'll take it to the other side. So you can keep your hands where they are. <sighs> Feel better already. Inhale. Lifting the sternum. Exhale slightly forward. Bending the knee, lower the head and roll up through the spine, straightening the front leg. Again, inhaling, lifting. Exhale, come slightly further forward with flat back. Allow the head to lower. Inhale, roll up. This time, coming as far forward as you can with a flat back. Back heel is nicely grounded. Hold for a moment, core is engaged. 
Chest is still open, still think about that pencil there, we're not collapsing through the shoulders. Release the hands, take them down to the ground or to the chair and lift that back leg. We are strong, yet compassionate human beings. Allowing that upper body to totally surrender, release. Are you wobbling yet? So taking the back foot down, bending the front knee, coming into that nice gentle runner position. Inhale. So this is where you might want a blanket under your knees. I should have said that before. Inhale, take the left hand up and overhead, consciously drawing that right knee back. Beautiful, open position. Inhale, draw the elbows in. Exhale, release. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Look to that black hand and watch that rainbow painted overhead, taking the hands back down to the ground. Lift the back knee and step that foot as far as you need to to get back into your charity pose. Front knee is bent. Next inhale, roll up through the spine. Bring the feet back to centre. Release the hands. Take a wonderful in-breath. Interlace the fingers overhead. And we begin our wonderful circle. So we circle to the right. So I'm going to do it the wrong way. So we can keep you in check. And we go all the way down to the ground, first of all. Circling to the right. Bend to the knees. Bend to the pelvis, the navel, the heart, the throat, and then a circle overhead. Release the hands, have the palms facing up towards the sky. Close your eyes for a moment. Notice how you feel. Release the emotion, feeling of strength. And then turn the palms to face the head and slowly lower the hands into the face, throat, in front of the heart, just bring the palms together. Take a nice breath, enjoy a moment of stillness. 